Welcome to Car Simply News. It was only a few months ago that Tesla started rolling out the much anticipated Cybertruck to their customers. But one of those new Cybertruck drivers, whose identity is not disclosed due to privacy considerations, experienced an incident while driving their new truck. The issue was with the accelerator pedal. It could become trapped in a depressed position, potentially leading to unintended acceleration. When stepping on the pedal with high force, the pad covering it could unlatch and may become stuck in the interior trim of the driver's footwell. And if that pad became stuck, the accelerator pedal could remain stuck or depressed on the floor, and the vehicle would continue accelerating. And that's a scary thought. Tesla was first notified of the issue of that customer complaint on March 31, 2024, and on April 2, the automaker confirmed that the vehicle's brake system worked correctly during the incident, and that with both pedals pressed, the vehicle was brought to a stop. Tesla, headed by Elon Musk, stated that it would replace or repair the accelerator pedal assembly for free, in a practice called a car recall. To remedy the issue, Tesla recalled all the Cybertrucks delivered, to replace or rework the accelerator pedal assembly and cover to prevent the pad from becoming dislodged in the future. If you're not familiar with what a car recall is, we have a short video where we explain what it is and how you can check if your current vehicle is eligible for free repairs from your car dealership. What's important to know is that recalls can be expensive for companies because they have to fix the problem, and they can also make people worried about buying their products. This can lead to fewer sales, which is not good for the company's stock price. But more on the stock price later. On April 15th, the company stated it hadn't heard of any accidents or injuries tied to the problem. By April 17th, a fix was implemented in Cybertruck production, featuring a new accelerator pedal. Vehicles at delivery centers and in transit to customers were set to receive the fix before being delivered. Despite the recall, Musk remained focused on AI and self-driving technology during the first quarter investor call. Musk has previously acknowledged the challenges of mass-producing the Cybertruck, stating during the company's third quarter conference call last October that, quote, we dug our own grave with Cybertruck. But what does that mean for the Cybertruck in the time to come? For now, we can only speculate on the production of the Cybertruck for the rest of the year. Although the exact number is unconfirmed, the EV Titan is set to build between 100,000 and 120,000 units in 2024. In other Tesla news, what we know is that Tesla is expected to lay off many workers starting June 2024. For your information, in that context, layoffs mean that a company is letting go of some of its workers. The layoffs were announced to staff just a week before Tesla was scheduled to report its first quarter earnings. Tesla told their employees that around 14,000 workers, or 10% of their workers, will lose their jobs through a company-wide email. The layoffs affect employees across all departments and seniority levels. Some departments saw those terminations of employment beyond the 10% outlined in the previously mentioned email. Two high-profile executives, Drew Baglino, Tesla's Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering, and Rohan Patel, Vice President of Public Policy and Business Development, left the company as well. As for the future implications of these layoffs, the company's dismissal of its employees seems like a scary hint that something might not be going well for them. This usually happens when a company is trying to save money. This year, Tesla's worth has gone down by 35%, so the automaker is starting to look more like a traditional company, instead of one that can avoid traditional business rules and trade like its peers. Analysts said the layoffs are a sign that Tesla will struggle to maintain growth. Tesla's problems are in part due to lower demand for its cars. If people think a company might be in trouble, they might not want to buy stock in that business. Explained simply, the stock price is how much it costs to buy a share of a company, and if it's doing well, more people will want to buy the company's stock, and the price will go up. But on the other hand, if a business is having problems, like recalls or layoffs, which in turn will make people worried about the corporation's future, fewer people might want to buy the stock, and the price could go down. But remember, many things can affect a company's stock price, and it can be hard to predict what will happen next. Check the video on your screen to understand when and why Tesla's stock started dropping just a few months ago. Make sure you subscribe for more news videos under 5 minutes like this. Also, click the like button so more people can discover this channel. We really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. This was Car Simply.